Hi, stamping friends. I'm Karina with KarinasCreations.com, and I want to show you how to make this really, really cute little slider cart. So when you pull it back, it reveals a really cute secret message. So what you're going to need for this card is you need three pieces. So you need your cardstock base, and mine is very vanilla. It's four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches. And then I took some black cardstock, which is four inches by five and a quarter inches, and put it through the chevron embossing folder. And then added some uh, designer, some Halloween designer series paper on the bottom. I think it's called Witch's Brew, and it's two inches by four inches. So that's my card base. And then you need two pieces. So you need one piece cut with the Peekaboo Frames Big Sty. So it's about three inches by three inches. And then you need another piece that is two and a quarter inch, oh sorry, which is two inches by three and a quarter inches and then you need to score it at half an inch and put a piece of sticky strip and then you set that aside and then you need a piece of very vanilla to go underneath the project and it is two and a quarter by two and a half inches and I already stamped the bats about you from the what is the stamp set called the bats about you Halloween hello sorry and you got to make sure you um, stamp it over far enough so that you can actually have some room to put your frame on top and then the next thing you need to do with the frame is you need to take your paper cutter and you have to put a score line in. So you're going to put this edge at one and three quarters of an inch right about here and then you're taking your scoring blade and you're not scoring the whole thing. You're going from the one cut line to the other cut line and that is going to make a cute little, sco uh, cute little score line. You're going to do a mountain fold and then it almost has a natural fold at this window but make sure that you pull that as well fold it up so it looks like this and then the last thing you need to do is remove your sticky strip here and then you're going to feed it through your window and you're going to match up these two edges like so okay and then that makes your slider frame so then I'm going to take a hole punch and I'm going to punch a little hole at the end to put some ribbon in so that people will hopefully realize that they have to pull this. And I'm taking some ribbon and it is black and it is one eighth of an inch ribbon. I'll put all the particulars on my blog. I can't think of the name of the ribbon right now. Then you just tie a little knot and then you take your card base, put your card base down and then I'm going to put some mono multi glue on the back of my vanilla base because it is going on an embossed area and I don't want it to fall apart. And then that goes down. And then it's very important for the next part of the card to put glue on only three sides. So one, two, three, because you don't want this part sticking to the card. One, two, three, put some mono multi glue. And then I put it on like this and then you hold it down, let it stick, and then the very last step is to put a cute little bat on it. The cute little bat, I have uh, put black glitter on it, and I'm going to punch it out with an oval punch and pop it onto this part only of my card. Make sure you don't put a dimensional on this part. And um, I think that's it for my card, and I already did a video with the black glitter which is on my newsletter so sign up for my newsletter and I will send it to you it's a couple days old but if you want to see it I'll be happy to add you to my newsletter list and I hope you enjoy making this card it is really fun and super cute and happy stamping